Hello fellow retro gamers. This is the gamer with know your video games. About a year ago, I got in an argument with this guy online. I merely stated that I thought the Genesis version of Street Fighter 2 was held back by the Super Nintendo. You see, all the assets created for the Super Nintendo were reused for the Sega Genesis. Now I know the Super Nintendo can display more colors. However, the Genesis is more than twice as fast as the Super Nintendo and they can manage a higher resolution. If some of you watched my last video, you may have learned that I've been toying around with SGDK. And I thought to myself, what would happen if you ported the arcade sprites to the Genesis? Would it be able to handle it? Would it crash? Would it sputter? So we're gonna answer that question today. So here it is guys, these are the arcade sprites for Street Fighter 2 running on the Sega Genesis. And it's working fine. The Genesis could easily handle these sprites. So I thought to myself, could it handle the Darkstalker sprites? So I went ahead and I ported the Darkstalker sprites to the Genesis. decided to try one more thing. How about Mortal Kombat? So I went ahead and I ported Johnny Cage over to the Genesis and it handled it fine and I think he's the largest sprite as well. After toying around with SGDK, I've learned that the Genesis is a much more capable system than we've ever thought it was. I'm not capable of finishing these games, as I'm a noob. I can't create complex controlling, but maybe one day I'll learn enough that I can finish these games. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you next time, fellow gamers. Bye.